So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but to take over the world. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take over YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash fucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my little playthrough slash review for Dino Stalker. So don't mind me, dear viewer, while I talk over the game here. Now, Dino Stalker released in 2002, a year I remember fondly as the year that I... <clears throat> Bertram, did you, uh, did you just pass wind? Uh, no, I farted. No, uh, that's what I was... You know what, never mind, Bertram. Anyway, so... What the hell is Dino Stalker? Well, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. Uh, no, actually, why are you asking me that? Can you not see that I'm playing the game for you right now? Are you blind? Or have you got me in the background again? Um, no one in your right mind is going to have your voice in the background. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Bertram. Uh, no, wait a damn minute. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. <clears throat> <clears throat> what the hell was I even saying? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> now, Dino Stalker is a spin off from the Dino Crisis games and is actually part of the Resident Evil Gun Survivor series. So, as you can see here, this is an on-rail shooter, much like Time Crisis or House of the Dead. Oh, great movie. Uh, doth my ears deceive me? Great movie, House of the Dead. If you ever say that again, Bertram, I am going to throw you out of the window. <coughs> Moving on. So, I thought it might be fun to try something out while we play the game. Uh, oh God, what are you planning? Haha, <laughs> well, do you remember that story I was working on? Uh, no, absolutely not. You cannot read that. Well, how did you know that's what I was even considering? Uh, because you're fucking crazy? I resent that! Well, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe just a little, you know. But Bertram, even you have to admit that the subject matter fits this game perfectly. Um, well, yes, it does, but... a uh, perfect, then. Let's begin. Oh, no. May the ground open up and swallow me whole. Well, <laughs> here's hoping. <clears throat> so, dear viewers, while we blow these dinosaurs um, away, while we blow these dinosaurs away... Let me regale you with a little tale I have been working on for a while. So, here I will present to you, dear viewer, the world premiere of Trevor the Transvestite T-Rex. Oh no, kill me now! Shut up, Bertram! <laughs> <coughs> 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 <clears throat> ah, there we are. <clears throat> now, once upon a time, 65 million years ago to be precise, the world was filled to the brim with dinosaurs. 
They were very much like the human race. They liked to eat, to poop, to sleep, to make love, but the teenage dinosaurs mostly spent their time fighting with their friends over which was best, PlayStation or Xbox. Um, they didn't have the- Shut up, Bertram. <laughs> now, I myself built a time machine just last week and travelled back to this time and beheld with awe the sheer size of these prehistoric animals. I'm not exaggerating when I say that the T-Rex had the largest kernel mustard I have ever seen. I was fortunate to come across one in the middle of its mating ritual with a triceratops of, uh, let's just say, low moral standing. Yes, dear viewer, sex workers existed even 65 million years ago. Anyway, I was fortunate enough to be standing under the T-Rex when he pulled his Colonel Mustard out of his companion, and... No, I, I told you to cut that part out! And I told you to shut up, Bertram! <laughs> but we're not here to talk about me, dear viewer. No, 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 no. We are here to learn all about Trevor, the transvestite T-Rex. There we are. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Trevor was born a long time ago. His mother was just a filthy hoe. She sold her son for lots of drugs. The dealer threw in a lovely rug. Trevor was raised by lots of girls. They styled his hair, put it in curls. Trevor then found he was aroused when he was dressed in a nice blouse. Trevor enjoyed his hair in boobs. Obsessed with the Rocky Horror Show. He padded his bra with caveman shit. Can't think of a line here that will fit. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, Trevor was spawned of scrambled eggs. He tucked his meat between his legs. To all the boys, he was a catch. They put their meat right up his hatch. Um, hatch? Did you mean bum? Uh, well, uh, it's a complex narrative, Bertram. Read into it what you will. Uh, yep. Hatch means bum. Continue. <clears throat> Trevor took drugs, just like his mum. To fund his vice, he sold his rum. Uh, rum? Uh... Did you mean to say bum again? No, no. You see, Trevor had amassed quite a collection of rare and delicious rums. Um, did they have rum 65 million years ago? Well, absolutely not. But I'm using what we writers call creative license. Ah, okay. Continue. Ah... Uh, Wait, where was I? Uh, oh, oh, yes, now I remember, now I remember. <clears throat> Trevor took drugs, just like his mum. To fund his vice, he sold his rum. His dealer was cruel, a filthy brute. Made Trevor become a prostitute. Oh, uh, no! Not the same one you saw when you... Ah, the very same, Bertram. Isn't it amazing? 
Um, so, so what happened next? Well... After contracting a whole manner of exotic diseases while selling his trade, Trevor eventually went mad and bit his own tail off and then used it to suffocate himself to death. And thus, Trevor the transvestite T-Rex was no more. Oh, what a sad ending. Oh, don't feel too bad for him, Bertram. You see, his spirit now lives in transsexual Transylvania. Oh, that's nice. Um, Bertram? Uh, yes? Um, what the hell is going on with my gameplay footage here? Um, I I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it might just be me, you know, my eyes aren't what they once were, you know, old age and all that other bollocks. But, uh, it kind of looks to me like this gameplay footage is moving a little bit more quickly than it should be. I mean, who the hell is behind the controller of this game, fucking Roadrunner? Oh, I see what you're talking about. Look, we're on the boss fight here. Yes, Bertram, and it's moving very quickly. Am I supposed to commentate the game like this? <clears throat> oh, look, there's a leopard dinosaur, and then we're running away from the dinosaur, and then the dinosaur's eating my ass, and look, oh, no, I've suffered some damage. Oh, no, now there's two fucking dinosaurs. Now we have to run away. Oh, no, 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 now it's a cop scene. Now we're on the next level. Is that what you're proposing that I do, Bertram? Well, um, whatever makes you happy. Oh, look, now we're on the boss fight with the T-Rex. We're moving faster than the speed of light. I think it was Sonic the Hedgehog that said that. Yes, Bertram, I'm fully aware of who said it. You don't have to remind me. Fine. I guess we're just going to have to make the best of this catastrophe. Oh, look, we got through that level. Well done. Oh, look, now we're on another cutscene. Yes, a smoke coming up. Oh, no, picking up the... Oh, no, now the woman's pointing. Oh, no, no, wait, now it's too late. We're in the next level. Oh, God, there's a raptor. Oh, run after the raptor, right? Let's shoot the raptor. It's called Trinity, right? I think it's the last boss of the game. It is the last boss of the game. It's some kind of a secret experiment, I think. Yes, so let's shoot Trinity. Oh, my God, most of his health bars disappeared already. How is this even part? Oh, no, I've been bitten. Oh, no. Let's just keep shooting here. Yes, let's just keep shooting. Come on. If we keep shooting, then we'll win, and I can end this bloody video, because this video is an absolute disaster, apart from the fact that I got to recite my uh, rather good story. It was a good story, wasn't it, Bertram? Yes, it was. Well, thank you, Bertram, for that input. Ah, uh, yep, still fighting Trinity here. Yeah? I see that we've not finished this boss fight yet. Uh, the original boss fight probably took a couple of minutes. This is going to take a couple of seconds. Isn't that good? Oh, my God, and we finished the level. Isn't that marvellous, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Bertram, I'm never going to forgive you for this. Oh, yes, this is the part that links in with uh, Dino Crisis, I want to say, too. Is that a character from Dino Crisis? Oh, he's pointing at a volcano. Actually, Bertram, now that I'm looking at it here, this game barely has a story anyway, so I suppose you might have done us a favour, because the game probably should take about... Ooh, an hour? An hour and ten minutes to finish? But this is only going to take us... Oh, a couple of minutes? Couple of few minutes. Oh, they were going to kiss there, but they don't kiss. That's all right. Let's move on. Right, next level. Stage six done. Oh, wasn't that marvelous? Stage six. Yes, we'll continue before moving on. Let's save the game very, 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 very quickly and let's move on. Now it's loading. Oh, look. We're surrounded. Oh, damn. Determination. Right, let's go. Right. What's going on? Oh, it's moving too fast. I feel like one of those bloody horse race commentators. Oh, being attacked by a T-Rex. Now we're fighting T-Rex. His health bar is probably going to disappear faster than my bloody bank balance. Because Bertram over here keeps buying crates of coke. Um, actually, it's you that buys crates of coke. Oh, look. 
You've nearly killed the T-Rex. Well, Spotted Bertram, oh look, the game's practically over. Well, I guess I suppose I'll have to do the outro here because I probably won't have enough time to do the outro because the game will be over before I even utter another two words. Okay, I was exaggerating. The, the game's still going, but... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough of ours. It's uh, been delivered at, at a speed that um, you're probably not usually accustomed to, so I hope you're not watching this video for tips on how to finish the game. But uh, there you go, T-Rex dead, game over. So, I hope you enjoyed my little story. And uh, do I recommend this game? Yes, it's lots of fun. If you like uh, on-rail shooters, then I recommend you get this. You're probably not going to because you can just watch this video. Because this video, um, as, we, as with all my videos, is uh, better than the game that I'm commentating on. So, there we go. So, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thing. Oh, look, we're back at the beginning of the game. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer. And that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. <sighs> I can't believe you did this to me, but up this video oh my god i'm going to hang you in the morning yes well first of all I'll let you make me breakfast then i'll hang you yes that's exactly what i'll do um is this not the bit where i usually say goodbye oh yes bertram you're going to say goodbye you can say goodbye for real this time i'm going to get rid of you in the morning <laughs> um you're talking into the microphone and i can hear what you're saying Oh, I didn't mean anything by Bertram. Uh, say goodbye, Bertram. Uh, goodbye, Bertram. You see, yes, he has absolutely no idea what's in store for him in the morning. Yes, I'll get some rope in the middle of the night. Get it ready. Get it ready to hang that bastard for what he did to me. Embarrassing me in one of my own videos. <laughs> um, I can still hear you. Oh. Bollocks! Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off! Be gone! Au revoir! A be de Zane! Bye! What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's Benito! It's Caputo!